everybody, this is Felicia, and I am working on a layout today for the Wild Whisperers Design Team. I am using the Out and About collection, and I'm doing my second layout, actually third layout, <laughs> with this collection. Um, this collection, I mean, really is really, really pretty, and it's very, very easy to kind of mix and match the papers and things like that. And plus, on top of it all, I was able to take one of the papers there um, and use it as partial embellishment by cutting out these circles, in which you're going to see later on sometime in the video. This is a photo of my daughter, and she's standing by a Unity poster. And the Unity poster is at the California Museum uh, of History here in Sacramento. And she happens to be part, she is actually a permanent part of the Unity um, <laughs> exhibit at the museum. So I had her stand by the poster and she is also in the picture of the poster. And um, I thought that would be a cool idea because it had its um, soft opening, um, which we were all invited to because she volunteers there at the museum. And we were able to go and um, just pretty much uh, enjoy some of the festivities and the soft opening of the Unity Center. The Unity Center is really, really nice, by the way. Uh, it has a lot of interactive things and a lot of history and a lot of um, things that you can um, actually participate in and take home. So now that I have the pretty much framework on what I'm doing with this, I'm going to go ahead and give this piece just a little tiny bit of a black outline because I wanted to show up in the background. Um, I mean, I wanted to show up and I don't want it to get mixed into the background of the pattern paper, which by the way, each one of those dots that you see on this pattern paper ha is outlined with black. So that actually helped the whole entire layout and it brought out the photo and everything and including the pattern paper background. So I'm uh, actually giving all the pieces that are going to be going on this layout a little tiny little bit of a black outline, which makes it look pretty, I mean, it looks real smooth, I guess. Like, I don't know what you would call that, but it just looks really well put together. <laughs> so um, now that I've got uh, the pieces cut and I'm going to start arranging them how I want on the layout. And here I am trying to figure out if this is where I want the photo, which is actually the perfect spot. So I decided to go ahead and leave it there. And while I was looking at it, I was thinking something else is missing, something else is missing. So um, what I decided to do was go ahead and trim off a little bit of the pattern paper here that I'm working on. And um, I'm going to be matting, matting it on some black paper. So you can see right now I'm trimming off just a little tiny bit of the edge there. Because now, once, once I do that, it really brings everything out. So as you can see here now, and that was a really good idea. So I'm going to be cutting out some circles from one of the papers there in the collection. And I'm going to be using that as, as um, the circles that I cut out. I'm going to be using those as embellishments. So I'm spreading those out. And I'm also going to be putting more circles on here. The, um, the problem is, is I did not put them on while the video was going. I put them on after because I completely forgot to put them on. But you'll see the um, after photo at the end of the video. So now I'm going to arrange how I want these to go. And I like how they're staggered. I love that look. And I'm going to be putting down this little piece here right behind um the matted photo here and I used one of the four by six cards to pretty much come up with the total I mean uh, title and the title is going to be collect moments not things and I thought that'd be a great and awesome title because I mean really when you think about it this is a moment here that she's part of the exhibit permanently even for years to come later on down the line she will always be part of the unity um, exhibit here. So now I found some of these stars here and I'm going to be putting those kind of like um, on the edge of the circles to give it a little bit more interest there and you can see me doing that right now. And I pretty much am almost done with this layout. I, like I told you before, I forgot the white circles that also the bigger um, white circle rings that I'm supposed to put on there, but I do put them on there at the end. And I'm adding some enamel dots. And I'm going to be using the stamp set here 
which, oh my gosh, I love the stamp set. I like those messy circles. I mean, the stamp set actually matches perfectly with um, this collection and the papers that are in the collection. So, and I just like that look that it gives it. And yes, the stamp, the ink that I use in the, um, which is the VersaFine ink works perfect on um, this paper. So right now I'm trying to figure out what else I need to be done. And that's where I forget to put the circles, but I do put them on later. So pretty much I'm done with this layout and I want to thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to visit the Wild Whispers Designs shop so that way you can pick up your collection as well. Take care guys and have a wonderful happy day.